that you might be a sorceress, you really resonate with that terminology. Well, I'm going to share a spiritual gift that I found inside of my clients at Kashuk Records in case it unlocks and activates something for you as well. When I went to her energy field, I saw her holding a potion bottle. And I heard the terms herbologist and homeopathic healer. And then when I went into a different section, I was taken into a room with the walls filled with thousands of bottles. And that's when a different incarnation of hers came forward and said, oh, she is a sorcerer. I said, do you mean a sorceress? And she said, yeah, you can equate it to that. But she collects things like resources. All of the bottles were filled with different organic materials, the essence of them. So trees, animals, rocks, crystals, herbs, roots. What my client is gonna be able to do through training with this different incarnation is heal people either with their physical body or on a quantum level with their astral. With your physical body, that would be cells, DNA, meridian lines, your organs, your skin. With bridging on over into the multidimensional facets, we have inner child and chakras, which kind of have one foothold in the human side of us and one in the multidimensional side. And then when we bridge all the way over, that's having to deal with different incarnations, with karmic rollover lessons. What she is able to do is look through all of these etheric bottles that hold all of the essences and create these etheric tinctures to give to person's energy bodies to help them come into a homeostasis. I equated it to going to a doctor and running tests to figure out what type of minerals and vitamins you're deficient in. Well, what she's able to do is figure out what frequencies people are deficient in. What was even cooler was that these bottles are able to hold the essence of dimensions as well, which I have never seen before. And this looks like the unicorn, fairy, dragon dimensions, starseed planets, Pleiadians, uh, Mintakins, Octurians, Atlanteans. So if somebody is from one of those planets and their body needs to be reactivated to those facets or there's something in those atmospheres that would help bring their human in this incarnation back to a homeostasis point. She is able to mix all of these things together from all the different bottles, hand it to them, and heal. Her higher self was saying a way to develop this is learning about as many organic materials as you can get your hands on. So learning what dandelion root helps with or turnips <laughs> or rose quartz or oak trees, a dog, <laughs> and you can learn what the physical manifestation of those things help with the, with the human vessel, or you can go into meditation and connect with the consciousness of that organic material because it's going to tell you something completely different. For example, Let's say that we have this crystal here. I could put this over somebody's body and then get the effects from it, specifically whatever the crystal helps with it. Then if I was not gonna go in meditation and talk to the consciousness of the crystal, it's probably gonna tell me something completely different that you're not gonna be able to find on the internet. You would be talking to it like it was a person. <laughs> Okay, like much like you and I would have a conversation with one another. And I told her, you don't have to memorize all these things because that seems like it would be very overwhelming. It's more about getting yourself in the energetic field of said thing. And the way that her subconscious and her networking is set up, there's a huge massive file system for inventory. Every time that she comes in contact with something, her higher self said, I want you to make a mental note. I am putting the essence or asking, obviously we want to ask, but can I have some of your essence like this crystal and I'm going to etherically imagine that I am putting it in one of the bottles. Now, when she goes to work with clients or herself, family members, friends, she's going to be able to recall the information that she learned about said thing without, without having to keep it in her conscious mind. A step above that is sometimes you don't even have to come in contact with these things when you get more proficient at channeling. 
your higher self or your multidimensional awareness will drop in what you need. Be like, this is what snake plants help with. This is what beets help with. <laughs> Whatever it is. That comes with time and practice, however, of learning how to access more of the Akasha field. Is also expressing that when she learns how to more intentionally astral project within, she can go to different planetary systems and different dimensions because they have their own variety of plants, animals, creatures, roots, herbs, um, different types of elements than we have here on Earth. She will also be able to bottle those up to utilize with her clients. Now, her different incarnation has her own shop that she works out of. She was saying that she wants to help my client open up her own etheric shop. So, walls full of bottles. She can go into meditation, be open for business. There will be cosmic and etheric beings that come to visit her shop that she can barter with or sell different tinctures or she can do some type of energy exchange where they tell her about an experience or a memory that they have. They can also bring her different materials, resources. She is going to learn so much from these intergalactic beings by running this shop. And I said she could have an actual shop in the 3D human world as well if she wanted to. There's lots of different uh, persons that put together herbal tea mixes or you know jars that have all these different herbs and crystals in it to help people <laughs> there's a lot of different utilization here I said most likely you're going to be doing more of the etheric work however because you don't have to have so much physical inventory I told her that something that would be really activating is to go on Pinterest and type in witch potion bottles and you're going to find a bunch of depictions of them holding <laughs> them and it's going to help her re-remember her capacity to do this. This is the second etheric shop that I have seen uh, in the last couple of weeks. There was another one where someone was going to be able to open a wellness spa so that cosmic and etheric beings could come and get Reiki or light language or some type of weaving, shamanic practices, and she was going to be able to call all these different um, energy healers from the cosmos and subcontract them to work there <laughs> with her. This specifically was so interesting because it was giving apothecary. <laughs> and so I wanted to come on and share this today because there's so many different utilizations, like I said, and I feel like this is going to start really ramping up in the collective consciousness of opening these etheric shops. And yes, it's so amazing to heal somebody's human on this plane. I love doing sessions with people where I'm talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. You can also do etheric multidimensional work at the same time that you're doing physical works with someone, either in person or on Zoom. Or I told her, some of the sessions that I do is I send voice notes to people so I can get deeper into their Akasha field and you can just work with their etheric body or astral body if you want. I would love to hear in the comments if this unlocked and activated something for you as well. And I hope you have a super magical day.